Hey, good morning everybody. I don't know, there is just something about spring and beautiful days that just, God, just makes you feel alive. I hope the start to your day is absolutely incredible. Tomorrow me and Noah leave for California, which means that today is my last day at the shop. <laughs> That's gonna mean for a really busy day. There is a ton to do and not a lot of time to do it. It's gonna be weird that I'm gonna be gone for an entire week, but we have some amazing adventures planned for you guys. I can't wait to show you what we have going on. All right, so lots to do today, but I'm gonna go ahead and check the jungle carpet because remember yesterday I thought that she was gonna lay any time. So let's go ahead and see if she's got a clutch of eggs. Are you got eggs in there? Nope, no eggs, darn no. But Kelsey just told me we do have our first clutch of eggs of the year and ball python. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, look at this. A clutch of eggs. Look at that, guys. Nice. Ooh, those are pretty ones, too. Woo! Good job, Kelsey. Listen, I I'll be honest with you. Kelsey takes all the credit for this. She's done all the breeding this year. I've hardly even helped. I've just kind of given her advice. So she's killed it. So what do you think? The first clutch of eggs that you- I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. And they're so perfect too. That's a great sign when your first clutch is good, you can really be happy because a lot of times, I'll be honest with you, the first clutch is a lot of times bad because sometimes they're ovulated before a lot of breeding happens. So when you get a good first clutch, that means the year is gonna look good. That doesn't mean that you're not gonna get some infertile eggs, but it certainly is a great sign. So good job, Kelsey. And let's go ahead, we'll set these eggs up here a little bit later and I'll take you through the process. And by the way, if you guys want to know what a snake ovulating looks like, this is a perfect example of it. See this huge bump right here? That is an ovulation. Woo, doggy, that's a big one right there. I tell you, that looks so uncomfortable, but what happens is they <laughs> swell like that just for about 24 hours, and then they actually go down. So sometimes people actually make the mistake of they're like, oh, I thought my snake was gravid, but it doesn't look gravid anymore. Because ironically enough, after an ovulation, they look thinner than they did before the ovulation. And then those eggs continue to grow and they start to blow it up over the next 20 or 25 days. So off to a good season. So it is an absolutely extremely hectic day trying to get everything done, but I did get a package in that I wanted to share with you guys that I'm pretty excited about. And again, this is just the preliminary package. So this is the total package of what it is, but look at that guys. Dun, dun, dun. That's right, that's reptile prime bedding and it's got me on it. The actual package will be here in about six or seven weeks, but uh, and it'll be printed right on the bag. These are just stickers, but uh, you get an idea of what it looks like. I just thought I'd share with you guys. I mean, Reptile Prime, it's coming to life, people. Well, because of as of tomorrow, my start of my travel, all the way until the last week of May, I'll only be home a total of four days over all that period of time. So almost a month, I'll only be here four days. So I have a lot to prepare today. Like I had mentioned earlier, I've gotta make sure I feed the Kluberts. I just finished editing the vlog, so that's done. Of course, I need to continue to vlog. I do need to film a Snake Bites episode today and then edit it tonight. And then I need to get a shipment of geckos that we're shipping out that we're packing. We gotta pack some other snakes. I've gotta make sure all the snakes are together breeding that I want to, like rainbows and sandboas. I've gotta go over with the crew every single thing I need to do. I need to pack all my gear and everything that I need from the shop because tomorrow I'm not even coming to work. I'm going right to the airport in the morning. And I just gotta make sure everything is buttoned up because I'm gonna be back in a week, but I'm only gonna be home for two days before I leave for Playlist Live in Florida. And then I'm only home one day and I leave actually for Indonesia. So a lot to do today. I have a lot of pressure today but you know what we're gonna get through it we always do don't we first up we got to make sure that Jessica is set on the geckos and get this last shipment of adult geckos out oh and I certainly don't want to forget that I have to pull those eggs and tell you how I set up incubation box and now we do incubate our eggs at home I actually have a walk-in incubator in the basement of my house so we actually pull eggs here and then we take them home to hatch them which is always fun it works out great and it gives me something to look forward to at my house every now and then gecko crazy over here <laughs> I'm happy that Jessica, poor Jessica always gets all the hard work when it comes to the gecko side of things. She's overloaded and she's taken a lot off my plate because I was gonna have to pack those earlier, but uh, thankfully she is. But I'm gonna still have to pack a few others just to round out that shipment. I tell you, the place is feeling more like a zoo all the time. We've got 
dogs with Zeusy. We got Artie back here. Speedy is always up front and in the back. Bella's always running around. We have uh, the geckos getting sent out again today. Again, this will be the last big shipment of geckos. We're just trying to pare our group down to where we have a more manageable number. Uh, we'll probably produce about the same number of leopard geckos that we did last year, just a different group of leopard geckos. So we're not gonna have really a reduction. But the truth is, is if we would have kept all these, we would have produced probably another four or 5,000 geckos over what we did last year. And we just don't have the ability to take care of that many geckos. Anyways, these are going out to the same guy that I shipped out to last week. This is last shipment. Uh, we still have a handful of leopard geckos available if anyone's looking for adult geckos, but uh, we won't have big quantities like we did with this one. He took a lot of animals. So anyways, we're getting these guys packed up and then I move on to my next project. <laughs> So now I'm just gearing up to shoot snake bites. Now, uh, every week I have to come up with a new concept. And to give you an idea, I've been doing snake bites for almost 10 years, every single week. So that's a lot of topics to have to come up with. So today I thought I would say, just go around to my crew and just ask them like, what animal would they want me to teach about? You know, so, you know, maybe Lori wants me to teach about speedy i don't know and and then i'll go in depth on that animal and try to teach you guys a little bit about individual things so we'll probably do like four five or six animals that are specific to whatever they pick i'm not going to choose it's just up to them so whatever they say let's learn about this i'm going to do so let me know if you guys like that idea and like i said i will have a snake bites episode that hopefully you guys will enjoy bella how's your day Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. You'll be able to run around later on. Can you do me a favor and help me out a little bit? Just just cooperate, will you? What animal should I teach people about? What do you want to learn about, Bella? Yeah, you know, I think Mexican black kings are a great choice. Thank you so much. All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, my insane day continues. I want to go ahead and pull this clutch of eggs. I'll take you guys through it. First off, we use something that is called hatch right that comes just like this. And there's a few different types of incubation medium. Hatch right for us just works the best for, in particular, pythons because, you know, it comes just like this and you literally just put it in an egg box and that's it. You don't have to add water. When you use vermiculite, you usually have to mix it with water and that's just, you know, it's, it, it, there's room for error. This, there's really no error because you literally just scoop this stuff out into an egg box and you're done. So, okay, let's get the soup. And I usually put just about that, right about one and a half inches or so. And what basically it is, is this is like a perlite, but it has a water isomer in it. So those little water gels, it's kind of mixed in here. That's what keeps it moist, keeps the humidity up, because you want the humidity in a Python incubation box to be about 90 to 95%, maybe even a little higher. You don't want it to be below that, or the eggs are gonna desiccate and dry out and die. But you also don't want the eggs to be wet to the touch. So it's that fine line between keeping them humid, but not wet, makes sense. So hatch right works out really well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull this clutch of eggs. Look at her, she's like, don't you touch my eggs. Come on, girl. There you go, sweetheart. And that's the eggs right there. Look at that, these are great. I love when ball python eggs are this size because that means the female lays a bunch of eggs. You can see the eggs are just, they're adhesive. And again, that's why you can see how these eggs are stuck together. The reason for that is these eggs can't roll. So if uh, the embryo actually attaches to the top of the egg and unlike chicken eggs, if these roll, they'll actually drown. So of course, mother nature's you know, responses, all right, we'll make them adhesive and sticky so they stick together and they don't roll around. You know, but they stick to everything. So anyways, I don't ever remove the eggs. I just leave them together in a whole bunch just like that because there's no real reason to. Now, if there was a bad egg or something else goes on, then you have to tear, but you have to be really careful because if as you're removing them, the adhesive part, you can actually rip the egg. And if you rip the egg, then the baby dies. So anyways, we've got two, four, six, seven eggs. Way to go, Kelsey, seven eggs. <laughs> Kelsey's a mama, she's got seven <laughs> eggs. So that's cool, so uh, so these guys go into an incubator at 88 to 90 degrees. I said I have my incubator at home in an incubation room, and uh, I'll show you guys at some time. These will hatch in about 58 to 60 days. So we'll have little babies, and of course these are a pretty cool looking pinstripe, kind of an unusual pin, so I don't know if there's something else going on, and it was bred to a scaleless head ball python. So theoretically half the babies are scaleless head, half the babies will be pinstripe. If there's another gene, we'll maybe see that. And who knows, we might get some pinstripe scaleless heads. That's on one in four on average is what you'd get. Anyways, 60 days, we'll have babies. 
how cool is that? It's so neat to get the first clutch of eggs of the year. I thought it was gonna be the carpet python, it turned out to be a ball python, which was really cool, because I'm super excited about that. It's just gonna be great to start getting eggs, and, and in the next couple weeks, eggs really are gonna start picking up. It's gonna be a bummer, because I'm sure a bunch of eggs are gonna be laid when I'm gone, whether it's in Florida or Jakarta, whatever, but when I get back, it's gonna be back to egg season, and then colubrid eggs will start to come, which is really exciting in leopard gecko eggs, so it's gonna be a great summer. I just can't wait to it. But I knew when I woke up this morning that it was going to be a completely off the hook day and just out of control. And trust me, it has been and we're far from end. But I actually am going to cut out of here. I'm going to go hit the gym because I need to get a little bit of this anxiety and stress out of my body. And luckily, Lori, my lovely Lori, decided to step up and say, Brian, I'll feed all your clubrids today so you don't have to add on your plate. That way I can come back and get the rest of my work done. So thank you, Lori. She's going to feed the snakes right now. So I'm just back from the gym a little bit ago, finished up an edit on snake bites. So I'm rendering it now and I'll be uploading it before I go so that that way I don't have to worry about uploading it tomorrow. I'm gonna do a really quick mail time. I've got a bunch of mail, but I just picked out some things that, uh, that seem like they had something in it. I, I'm gonna, after I get back and have a little bit of time, I'll do a little bit closer mail time. But uh, anyways, I am gonna get in on this really quick. Oh, look, it, it's a bunch of really cool stickers. Check that out. That Those are cool. And there's another one here. These guys are so neat. <laughs> Look at this, this is awesome. What is the deal with these stickers? I absolutely love them. Dear Brian, I recently started watching your daily vlog and now I'm hooked on them. Thank you so much. I recently adopted a leopard gecko who I'm obsessed with and now I have been drawing cartoons of him, some of which I've made into stickers and included in this letter. Uh, thank you so much. This is fantastic. I really do appreciate it. It's just absolutely awesome. And this is to Caitlin Finch. So thank you, Caitlin. Those are awesome. I love these stickers. I'm gonna stick them on a bunch of stuff. Jimmy uh, actually uh, is a guy that is here in Michigan that you know comments all the time on my YouTube stuff. So thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate it. And of course, this one says, caution, open on camera. I, I don't really know what that means. Please look at the second paper. It's something that you would like. So, okay, Jimmy, again, Jimmy, thank you for always commenting on my stuff. I mean, I really do appreciate it. And there you go. It's a drawing of a snake. How cool is that? It's awesome Mexican black king snake for you, Brian. Uh, if you show this on your vlog, <laughs> let me see. So there you guys go, uh, Mexican black king. Thank you, Jimmy, I really do appreciate it. Oh, check this out. This is actually really cool. This is awesome, take a look at this. This is actually uh, a bracelet, uh, and that is really, really cool. And here's a keychain. I mean, how awesome is that? This is absolutely, crazy. I can't thank you enough for this. All right, this is from Farron. Thank you, Farron Smith. This is fantastic. I'm gonna try to pull this out without wrecking everything. That's the problem with uh, mail time sometimes. It's hard not to destroy the things, and I don't wanna destroy them because I wanna make sure that I can respond back to you guys. And if I destroy your letters that I don't know how to respond back to. Uh, this is just a letter saying, um, I wish I could visit BHB, but I live in Sweden. I'm 11 years old and I really, really want a leucistic ball python there. They're so cool. My parents won't let me get one. I'm so sorry. Uh, I love you, Brian. Your vlogs are awesome. Listen, Oscar from Sweden, thank you so much for the letter. And, and you know, keep educating your parents because in time, hopefully they'll allow you to have a snake. Last one, guys. And then I gotta get wrapped up here because I still have to pack. I still have to get a bunch of things together. I mean, it just takes forever for me to get through the things I need to do. And I'm kind of bummed. I'm not going to lie to you. As much as I'm excited about this trip and I'm excited to bring you guys on, and I'm really excited to meet the people in California that are going to come see me. So if you live in SoCal, make sure this next weekend you come and visit me at the America's Pet Expo in OC. <laughs> this, is, this is actually, this is from Casey from New Zealand. And I'd imagine when Casey saw the vlog, when I opened up the markers with the little thing, they were probably was like, whoa, no. But thank you, Casey, all the way from New Zealand. This is so thoughtful. And the funny thing is, is I go through these pets, I lose them constantly. So even though I got a bunch of these markers that helped me from not writing on my arm because they're click sharpies, I've already lost like half of them. So these will come in super handy and healthy. Thank you guys. So there it is guys, mail time. You guys are awesome. I always put my PO box down in the description. I really look forward to seeing what you guys send me. You guys are awesome. And again, I'm gonna respond to the other ones and open some other stuff up when I get back from this trip. How's it sound? Okay, I'm back to it. Yeah, I just wanted to say 
say before I wrap up here at the shop is that I always talk about making your day awesome and being kind to people, but the truth is, you guys make my day awesome. Whether you send me something or really if you just comment down below or hit that like button or share my content, you guys cheer me up every single day. So thank you guys for making my days awesome. With that said, I am out of here. I am packing up the rest of my stuff and I'm heading home and trying to just spend the last little time I can with Lori. Thankfully, Noah's coming with me, but I won't see Lori for six days. I'm gonna miss her so much. So I am gonna wrap up here at the shop and head home. Okay, so home and kind of getting things packed up and ready for tomorrow. We're not leaving too early. I think our flight is at noon, so me and Noah are probably going to head to the airport, you know, probably about 9.30 or so, nine, uh, somewhere in that range. So we have a little bit of time in the morning, but not enough time for me to go to the shop, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, I will be missing Lori. Lori, are you going to miss me? I'm going to miss you so much. Are we lying again? That's I'm terrible that you're saying that. See, this is how it goes. Like, if you said, like, yeah, you know what, Brian, I'm gonna miss you, then I believe you. But if you go, oh, Brian, I'm gonna miss you, you're so then you're lying. <laughs> so No, are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm excited because, of course, we're hooking up with the Dudesons and Yuka, and uh, I told Yuka that he could do whatever he wanted with Noah. So who knows what's going to happen to my son? What did he say? He said anything. I don't know. He said it's probably going to involve duct tape and height. I just made that part up. But everything they do is with duct tape and height. So I have a feeling he's going to be doing that. What's cool is next week, Lori and Noah are going to Playlist Live in Orlando. So we are excited about that, and we're going to be able to do some fun stuff down there too. We're not just doing Playlist, right? We're gonna have some fun time. I'm hoping uh, for some beach time. Beach time? There's no beaches There's no in Orlando. Beaches in Orlando. Maybe I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, guys, uh, as I've been saying, if you're in California, come see us this weekend. If you're in Florida, come see us next weekend. Uh, it's gonna be absolutely epic, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm just gonna do some last minute packing and then shut it down for the night, get some rest, and ready for a long day of travel. Okay, guys, so I am shutting it down for the night, trying to get a good night's sleep. You know, the thing I'm the most excited about with this trip is the fact that I've been able to hang out with really cool people many times all throughout my entire life, really. But uh, to be able to take my son along and, and get a chance to introduce him to some of the YouTubers that he's been watching for years is going to be really special to me. I mean, I hope he has an amazing time. To me, that's what's really pushing me to be excited about this trip. And of course, I want to bring you guys along and make it awesome as well, too. I hope you have an amazing day. Do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload a video. Make sure to be kind to somebody and get ready because we're about to go on an amazing adventure. I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.